Philippines 2020. I'm feeling good. Actually, I felt nervous a while ago, but seeing my sisters when they're all done and relaxed and they're happy, it's like their good vibes like went into me and I'm, I'm excited to go inside right now. <laughs> good morning. Uh, yes, po. Uh, I got tired because I got lost <laughs> along the way. <laughs> so, the rule 30 seconds long for your answer. Starting with, tell us something about your So, good morning everyone. I am Skelly Ivy, Florida. And I am an only child. I grew up without a father. And I was also raised by a single mother. When I was a child, honestly I experienced being bullied but because of how my mother raised me, I know that I should be confident with myself. And with that, I know that she raised me to become a better person right now. And that's why I am also here. I think it's... Guapa. It means beautiful because it really gives confidence to especially the ladies. The ladies who don't feel confident with themselves. And when you say it to them, like you say, hello, guapa, and then they just smile and then they think that they're really beautiful. You are beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> um, excellent. So, what is that one learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? Honestly, it's, as I said a while ago, I experienced being bullied, and I overcome that. And now that I am confident with myself, I also want others to feel the same way too. To be, uh, for me to be an inspiration to others now that I am here. Hearing something more recent, so what is the most important lesson that you learned during the pandemic? I think the most important lesson I've learned is patience because everything right now is delayed and right now we need to be patient on the specific goals that we want to go or wherever we want to go and now that if we really have patience we know that we can achieve those goals that we want to do in the near future. If you win Miss Universe Philippines, how will you help your community? Winning this universe, I mean, it's being a voice, a spokesperson, and a symbol of hope to everyone. And also an in, as an influencer, I'm going to use this because I know that I can communicate to different organizations with the things that I can do, especially during this pandemic, to help uh, people who really need help in these times of the pandemic. And that's all. What color do you think symbolizes the phenomenal woman? It's yellow because it's bright and you can really see it that easily. You mentioned about being an influencer. Um, what, um, can you name a spot or um, whether it's a man-made or natural spot in Biniran that you would like to promote to the world? I would think of Tomalistis Falls. It's located in the Kaibiran place in Biliran. It is actually known as the, 
world's uh, sweetest water in the Guinness Book of World Records before. So I really want people to go there and really taste the water in there so that they would know how sweet it is. I mean, I've been there and I really love it in there because it's like a waterfalls near the ocean. So it's like you're going to swim in the waterfalls and then it's the ocean right there. <laughs> We've been hearing the word work from home this past few months. What do you think are the skills that an individual or a person should develop in what we call the workplace of the future? I think the skills that we develop there is, it's like you learn more, especially on the techie stuff in the computer, especially in the old generation that they have less uh, knowledge about that. And I think it's a, one of the good things that people should learn about, especially for the older generations. And it is one of the things that the younger generations could have more, um, ah, sorry. At least you have more bondings with the younger generations. <laughs> they can teach you. I'm not too familiar with Biliran, but yes. you know there's a campaign uh, hashtag love local. Right? Yes. So what local products would you want to promote and why? It's the food. We have there a suman. Our suman is kind of different because we have like different flavors. Like we have mango, chocolate, ube, and I think that's kind of unique. It's one of the unique stuff in Biliran. And lastly, what is that one thing that you think young people like you should focus on? I think people, young people like me, should focus on our future goals because we need to set something that we think that's good for us and not just for us but also for the community we need not to think about ourselves only but especially now in the pandemic we need to like help one another so that we can be better in the near future thank you thank you um, <laughs> it's really interesting it's really great there 21 po. Um, I'm just waiting for the graduation because it's pending because of the pandemic. Bawal po sa face-to-face na events in our place pa. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Miss Biliran, Skelly Ivy, Florida. An only child brought up by a single mom, she experienced bullying at an early age. No wonder she is a passionate advocate of embracing uniqueness through inclusive education of learners with special needs. Biliran, Skelly Ivy, Florida.